It's hardly surprising given the emphasis, continuing emphasis, given to pension planning that not so much attention seems to have been paid to the upcoming dividend tax changes taking effect from the 6th of April this year. Um, we've seen the finance bill clauses out for consultation. These will be the clauses that will be in this year's finance bill following the budget. But they were silent on a number of points. They weren't silent on the fact that we know there's going to be a dividend allowance. That's going to be £5,000, which means that the first £5,000 of dividends you receive in the year will be tax-free. They weren't silent on the fact that once you've exceeded that dividend allowance, the rate of tax that you pay will be 7.5% greater, effectively. So for basic rate taxpayers, that means they will have a liability of 7.5% on dividends received above £5,000. Additional and higher rate taxpayers will see their rates increase. And it also made clear, those clauses also made clear, that we are doing away with the tax credit system and those new tax rates will be applied to the net dividends you receive. But there was silence on the way in which dividends will be taxed inside a UK life fund. We hoped that they would continue to be tax-free, i.e. received by a UK company, a UK life company, and with no more tax paid on them. HMRC have fortunately confirmed this to us, which is good news. So dividend taxation is going to have a real impact on investment decision making, not so much where you invest, but if you're investing to produce dividends, which many will, given the importance of dividends and reinvestment dividends to achieving a real return over a reasonable period. If you've got dividends being produced in the portfolio, there is a, another decision, a second line decision that you need to consider as to whether the investment portfolio that you have chosen for your particular client should be held unwrapped, you know, in collective, in direct equities, or wrapped inside an investment bond. I mean, given that we're assuming that the pension and ISA supremely tax efficient tax wrappers will be the first choice once you've gone beyond your capacity for those, should you hold the portfolio inside an investment bond. Now, the way in which dividends as part of the drivers of growth in the portfolio are taxed is quite an important factor in that decision making. Now that we know that dividends will not be taxed inside a UK life fund, leaves us with the broad brush conclusion that in relation to the dividend part of the portfolio, to the extent that dividends would fall within an individual's dividend tax allowance, dividend allowance of £5,000, then holding them outside of an investment bond must be the more, most tax effective place for them in, in that they're tax free and there's no latent tax liability. However, once the dividends exceed that £5,000 allowance, and remember that £5,000 allowance must be applied to all dividends received from all sources in the year, including your own business if you pay yourself by way of dividend, and once you exceed that, you are going to see an increase in your tax liability. 7.5% for a basic rate taxpayer, 7.5% more for a, a higher rate taxpayer, and the top rate of 38.1% for an additional rate taxpayer. So given that dividends are going to be suffering a higher rate of tax once you've exceeded your dividend allowance, but will be tax-free inside a UK life fund, then it brings to mind the thought, at least, that an investment bond may offer an improved tax deferment vehicle for those that are going to receive dividends in excess of their dividend allowance. There are other factors to take into account, of course, charges, the capital gain that's inside the portfolio too, but it's definitely worth the consideration. The point here for advisors is that these rules of thumb, when a bond is best, when a bond is not best, by the way, the UK versus offshore bond discussion remains the same, but those factors do need to be revisited given these important changes to dividends which are only a couple of months away now.